digital presence. It is Wednesday. It is noon. It is, well, noonish. That's the norm. That's the norm, a noonish kind of show. Uh, this is The Life. I'm your host, Don Smith. Uh, it's been a good week so far, mostly because I took off work tonight, so I don't have to be in there and deal with that. But uh, I'll be at the Comics Hang tonight, which is going to actually be postponed. It usually starts at 5. It's going to have to start at 6 tonight because it's my wife's birthday, and I guess I can't leave her stranded downtown. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I got back up on stage Sunday, first time in, uh, geez, first time since August that I've been on any stage, and the first time since March. It's the first time since March that I've been on Wiley's stage, and it was a lot of fun, a lot of great comics. One of them is in the studio with me right now. Uh, is it Ed or Edward? Which do you prefer? It's Ed. Ed. Ed John is in the studio, or is it just Ed? It's you Ed. just want to go by and one you name. On stage. And wh- what's that? You sucked on stage. I appreciate that. You're Thanks. welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's that's how you get gigs, you know. Whatever, whatever it takes. True. You should see yeah. what I, if you, that's what I did on stage. You should see what I did backstage. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to the. Uh, well, I'd say welcome to the radio show, but you just dissed my comedy. So there's the door. No. <laughs> you call that comedy? Okay. No. That's well, uh, that's my attempt at it. Anyway. <laughs> I've, I've seen you. you on stage enough, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, well, you're in good company. Oh, I'm done with this interview. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, no, it's, it's it's good to have you in the studio. Thank uh, you. Probably overdue. How long have you been uh, performing stand up? I've been doing stand up uh, almost two years. Almost oh, two years. Well, then it's definitely overdue to get you in here. It is. Are you originally from the Dayton area? Is no, this where I'm you not. started comedy? Or no, I'm from uh, North Carolina. Oh, Fayetteville, okay, North Carolina. Okay. That's why I didn't want you in here before. No. That's all good. That's all good. <laughs> well, uh, welcome to the show. Wiley. And welcome to uh, Wiley's. I was told to say Wiley's like a thousand times. So Wiley's, Wiley's Comedy okay. Club. Well, yeah, I'm probably going to fail to mention it. You know, yeah. The oldest That's, comedy club yeah. in the universe. In the universe, definitely. Come to Wiley's. Yes. Come to Wiley's. A lot. Every night. Uh, every night this week. We might not be there the whole time, but you can stare at the door and wish you could get in and laugh. <laughs> but, but when we are there... You'll love it. So, <laughs> Wiley's Comedy Club. Yeah, Wiley's Wiley's Comedy Club, one on one Pine Street in downtown Dayton's historic Oregon district. That's Wiley's, the legendary. That's Wiley's. 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 Yes, Comedy Club. Now, where do you find Wiley's again? Uh, at Wiley's <laughs> Comedy Club, one on one Pine Street. One, yeah, there you go. In, Oregon district. In Oregon district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's a good place to go. That it Wiley's. is on your wife's birthday. Are you keeping track of how many times we're saying it? Or I've said it thirty five times. Okay. <laughs> 35 so far okay cool uh well you work at wiley's as well i do yeah i do work and you get stage time from time to time I is that, is that all your pay is just you get paid in stage time or uh, i get paid in stage time i wouldn't call the pay pay well but, you know yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that well, part. that's yeah this is what it is it's, it's a fun it's, time yeah it's it's a good it is a good time yeah. i uh it cost me a lot to go there, actually. <laughs> That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Yeah, at uh, Wiley's. At Wiley's. 37. But it's worth it. Wiley's is definitely worth it. It's a great place. Yes. It is. Uh, well, how, when did you start working at Wiley's? Because last year at this time, I was banned from Wiley's. I wasn't allowed. Anything. I don't know when I started working at Wiley's, to tell you the truth. I just, I was just always there. accidentally I, happened. I was always there uh, supporting other comics, you know, in comedy. And I just was like, hey, uh, you guys need help? And the manager was like, yeah, we need help. Yeah, well, there you go. So you can come work at Wiley's, thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah. You can cut, you come on in, pick up a rag and wipe something down. P- pretty much. I'm the door go. guy. I'm not the rag guy. You're not I'm, the rag. I'm the guy? door guy. Okay. Well, Gary's been the rag guy somewhat. It's, He's going to stay yeah, the rag he, guy also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he should. We <laughs> absolutely. We need more rag guys. <laughs> that's that's for sure. I I should do that from time to time. You should. Well, I have because your jokes aren't working. But, what was that? Well, yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> if my jokes were working, do you think you know? I would be in Dayton still. I'd be, you know, somewhere else. I'm kidding. I, I like your I like your comedy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 
And I'm kidding. I w- I'd still be in Dayton, even Probably. if I was funny. You've got like a Dayton persona. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I've never actually tried heroin, so that's not true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can we say heroin on the, I, on the uh, show? Well, he just did. Okay, twice, cool. So I think cool. we're good. Her- heroin Nobody and Wiley's. Heroin and, and Wiley's, yeah. yeah. 45 times. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, that's just a female hero. You're hero. absolutely correct. <laughs> it, it's funny, it's funny to, uh, to hear women talk about heroes. So Cam, this is a Cam Newton reference. That's totally a Cam Newton reference. But, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I didn't see any of that, so okay. I don't know. I, I knew there was there were some issues with with Cam Newton and some of the things he said, but I wasn't sure what or why. Yeah, yeah. There's a cocaine issue right now going around too. Really, with the Where's Miami that? Dolphins. With them? Oh Miami well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's. Uh, if I was getting on field to have a uh, you know big three hundred pound guys beat the hell out of me most of the time, I'd have to be on something too. Yeah, and I am a three hundred pound guy. Are you? Are you three hundred? I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm right looking about over. I'd give you two fifty. Yeah. 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 Well, you haven't seen me with my shirt off, so that's, that you, that you know of. That's the that second, you know that's of. The second half of this that interview, you know of. <laughs> <laughs> you will by the end of the day, <laughs> and you'll say, "Yep, there's three hundred there. <laughs> three hundred pounds. Got it. At Wiley's. At Wiley's. Three three hundred pound uh, comedians at Gary at Gary's Gary's. I've heard Wiley's. that place. Nice, nice yeah, place. Yeah, Garage. Yeah, nice yeah, place. Yeah. I prefer Wiley's though. Yes. Wiley's. It's, it's a lot more fun. Yeah. We got some shows coming up all this weekend too, right? Yeah. Greg Hahn's coming. Greg up Hahn's weekend. coming up yeah. like Friday, Friday, uh, Saturday. Friday, Friday night, Saturday night. And then of course, Wiley Sunday comics is back. Uh, we also have the, uh, the crooner and the clown with, uh, Ryan Singer. And I love uh, Ryan Singer. At yeah, I, I have seen some of his, uh, some of his little short films and comic videos. Have you seen the one with him giving birth? I have not. Oh, it's absolutely. Nor do dis- I want. It's to. hilarious, but it I is disturbing. Not. I mean, you. It will give you nightmares. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass. He's the first. The, the, he's the first male uh, giving child. You know, giving birth. Yeah, there's a list of things yeah. I'm gonna uh, avoid. That's uh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, Austin Lucas. That's who's Austin with Ryan Lucas. Singer. Yes, that's uh, that's on Thursday at eight. Cool. So, at Wiley's, at, at Comedy, Wiley's Club. Comedy Club, one one Pine Street, times. downtown Dayton's historic Oregon district. The legendary Wiley's Comedy Club. Absolutely. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> we, we can say it as many times as we want because. Uh, I'm not saying it again. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. I'll say it a few more times because here in a bit, I'm going to do the comedy rundown with everything we have this week. Comedy rundown. Let's go. Yeah. Well, d- 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 slow down. Slow. Okay. We'll get there. It's right before okay. the break. And I don't want to take a break yet because you're so fascinating. I am. <laughs> I am. What what got you started in comedy? Why did you uh, Why did you decide to go down this road and disappoint your whole family? Group therapy. Group. <laughs> that that's what. True story. Group that's therapy. how you started. You were in group therapy. The group and, therapy. I was uh I was at group therapy and okay. I was speaking to a uh, a therapist. I guess that's what you do at group therapy, right? Well, I think I think at group therapy you speak to everybody. No, so we have this exercise when we where we like we write we write out things we want to talk about things that are like on our minds, right? And I uh I give him my paper that I wrote one day and he's like, he starts laughing and he's like, excuse me, you know, this is no ding against you, but you're hilarious. Have you ever tried stand up comedy? And I was like, why are you laughing at like all yeah, my that's, hardship? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that definitely doesn't make you feel good when your therapist is laughing at your deepest concern. No, yeah. but it makes you feel good when you're on stage and you hear people laugh. So, yeah, well, that that's, that's one of the fun things about comedy is being able to share who you really are and people are thinking you're making it up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Because no if, if you listen to my set on Sunday, I was talking about how filthy my house is and what a slob it I am. It sounds made up. Which is absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> you, you embellish some for humor's sake, but true. Uh, it's it's pre, it's pretty bad. True. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's a mess. It is. I, I believe uh, it. Well, I, I was walking to the kitchen the other day and stubbed my toe on a on a rotary phone because that's how long it's been there it still had the rotary dial on it you ever seen one of those yeah because you're a young dude, man dude, uh, i'm 33 33 yeah that's yeah, to, to me that's a young man i've seen a couple yeah okay yeah yeah they're old <laughs> <laughs> and so is a lot of the dirt in my house so <laughs> i'm trying to compose myself okay oh that's okay this is that there is there is no need to compose yourself on this show okay it's, it's a party now yeah it's, it's all silliness it's that's well that's what the cocaine is for 
the cocaine. I'm just kidding. There's, There's a lot no. of cocaine at Wiley's. Well, that's, that's 85 <laughs> times. 85 times I've said yeah. Wiley's Comedy Club. One on one. Well, 86 now. So. Yes. Yeah. There you go. We're uh, we're doing it. We're advertising. Let's do it. And uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's working. <laughs> I don't well, know. You know, cause, you know, that's talking about all the all the all the drugs that are there. There aren't any drugs. There are no that, drugs that, at Wiley's that I'm aware of. 95 times. 90. <laughs> But sometimes it, you know, there there is alcohol there. There is, it. yeah. There are drinks. You definitely got to go drinks. there and drink the pink yeah. and wet. The I'm sorry, the what? pink and wet. It's my favorite drink at Wiley's. The pink. Well, and that's wet. a drink. It's a drink. What wow. What did you think I was talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it. I guess you can drink it. I, you, you can. It's fantastic. Yeah. I I haven't tried it. I, well, I've yeah, not the drink. Like it. it looks like it. What was that? I haven't tried the drink. Okay. It's pretty good though. I forget what's in it, but it has a good drink. I don't. I don't do a lot of mixed drinks. I'm usually beer or sometimes a hard cider. I got you. Yeah. The rum and cokes are good too. Hennessy. Really? Yeah, there, well, there's yeah. Hennessy there. I'm black. There's Hennessy. I I used to drink Hennessy. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> you used to be black because you used yeah. To be. Well, back in back in my uh, back in my black days. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dark dark period you in know, your life. These, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all these shootings started. I like. I better convert. <laughs> I don't want to get pulled over. I better convert. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> the shooting started, so and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you laughed at that and didn't jump across the counter. <laughs> oh, I will when shows are Oh, over. okay. Yeah, once we're off the air. I will. I will. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> All these shootings started, and I, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it, well, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to convert. It, it is. It took a while. It is. Michael Jackson did it. He did it. Partially. Yeah, yeah. He, that, I think he started it before the technology was there. I think he did. You're right. Because <laughs> right. you know there was. I think there were pieces falling off of that young man when. Yeah, just the, it, it was sad to lose him though, because he was he, he was he was odd, but he was definitely talented. We haven't lost Mike though. He's an artist. And yeah, his art stays yeah. around. Yeah, that that part sticks around. I guess. Yeah, that's the most poetic thing I've said all year. Yeah. Well, that's probably the most poetic thing's been on this show all year. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens. <laughs> Usually R. by R. accident. Mike. Usually we say something serious completely by accident. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mike came to Wiley's one time, I think. Really? That's 200 times I said Wiley's. Wow. Michael, Michael Jackson came to Wiley's. No, I just said Mike. Mike. Uh, I'm Michael sure, Jackson yeah, never I'm stepped sure in Wiley's. Yeah. yeah. Not now. But or sure. ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the club is haunted by the Tito might have yep. come by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if Janet came, you know, that'd be good. That would be. Yeah. I could live with that. You could switch back to your black days real quick too. Huh? That wouldn't even have to, I bet. Oh, you're right. <laughs> wow. You were quick on your feet. Hey, sometimes For a three hundred pound guy, you were quick on your feet. <laughs> uh yeah, I, I bet I bet she'd be all right. She would be. I mean not with the three hundred pound guy, I'd probably have to you know, unless I had money, and I don't. True. Because, uh, you know, I own a comedy club. <laughs> Wiley's. Part, part Wiley's. of Wiley's. Yeah. Part of Wiley's. Not the whole thing. Uh, part of it. Small part of it. But enough of it to make me feel important when I walk in there. I can just push people around. And you meet people you know, like not me. comedians off the stage. It's my turn. Take them. No, I don't do that. When, so that when are you going up again, well. though? I know you went up Sunday. When are you going up again? Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get try to get out to uh, – well, I'm going to – be at Wiley Saturday night for well, the early show probably, and I'm going to try to head over to uh, Feathers okay. for the comedy out in the street. What what did he call it this time? Because Aaron, Aaron spectacular. Phillips, yes, I think it's, spectacular. Uh, it's yeah, it's uh, <laughs> the mayor of the love, Oregon uh, district. Feathers comedy spooky spooktacular jokey jokes. Aaron is hilarious. Aaron is uh, he's he's funny. He'll be in uh, he'll be in for the next hour. So L- last week they had a show. Him. They had a show last week, and they were like uh, they had commercials during their show on the street. They had commercials. Hilarious. But, yes. Wow, yes. that's yes. <laughs> what. What were the commercials for? Because I have to... oh, when they started their first one, I left. <laughs> oh, okay, so I completely left. left. Yeah, I was. I was working that night. I was working. I think I might have been hosting or something. Oh, okay. but I had to go back real quick. I just wanted to go hang out. It's a good show, though. Aaron Phillips is hilarious. Yeah, I absolutely. Really like yeah, that, there's uh, there there's a lot of great comics in Dayton. There are and like we tons. Need, yeah, we need to we need to keep them. We need to get more out there too. Yes. yes. So if anybody's listening, you ever you ever feel like you just want to get up on stage and act like an idiot and talk to see there's an idiot right there 
Hey, how's it going? <laughs> that's one of my former coworkers just walked by. That's why I can. That's why I can say that and be fairly certain in my uh, assumption. True. That, but it, <laughs> true. But, but yeah, uh, there are a lot of good comments in town. Like oh, absolutely comments everywhere. Yeah, it, I was and, surprised. Yeah, but. if any if anybody listening uh, ever wants to go on stage, you can go to Wiley go to uh, Wiley Sunday Comics at gmail dot org. You can see, or dot shout com, out gmail dot com Wiley Sunday Comics at gmail dot com. Send them an email. Uh, you'll get a response back, uh, basically uh, telling you some of the rules and asking you for open dates and when you can go up on a Sunday show. Uh, Wiley's is a great place to do a first set. It is. It is. Cause it's, a, it's always been a friendly crowd on Sunday nights. If you're good, if you're good. Well, if you're good. I mean, if even, even if you have a bad set, because starting out, that's kind of expected, you know, it, it's hard to you go up think, the first time and really do well. And you're right, but I'm, you're right. But like, I've got some dirty looks on like, not, not when I had a bad set. But really? like a bad joke, like a bad joke. Oh well, yeah. A bad so, joke. Sometimes, sometimes it's nice to tell a bad joke just to get that different reaction. You're right, but the evil stares you get from some people in Dayton. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I've I've never really I've never really seen a bad crowd there on a Sunday night. You got to catch you got to catch the look on these faces like after they've had like a bad day. You told a bad joke and they didn't get any heroin. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Do we yeah. do we have a lot of a lot of heroin users coming in? I don't know. I'm After they've joking. dried up, I guess, or or whatever, when they're when I'm they're kidding. on the wagon, they it's the Narcan. Narcan's a new thing, right? I, I I think it's been around for a while. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, I think it's a new thing. Yeah, that's. I think that's once they've gone too far. Yeah, yeah. heroin's too far. I think heroin's too far. Yeah, I think heroin yeah, is too once, far. Once you're at that point, it's cocaine, I think it's then like, you eh, stop. Too much. Stop at cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> don't go past cocaine. <laughs> By the way, at the beginning of the show, I did say that the views and opinions <laughs> uh, on this show do not necessarily reflect the views and the opinions of uh, Wright State University, the Wright State student body, or uh, pretty much anybody cocaine. else. Or cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd, I'd say cocaine might be just taking it a step too far. It is. But I, that, it that's is. just me. I've never really... I agree. I've never done cocaine. I, I've We've never, never Yeah, it. I've never dabbled in that. You don't I've look like cocaine type. That. No, no. I look like a... I look like a weed and cheeseburger type. That's, I, I, <laughs> that's good burger. Three. You look like the good burger type. Welcome yeah. to good burger. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fitting. I can go with that. Yeah. I can get on board. You're a good guy, man. I, I never knew how good of a guy you were until like right now. Oh, I appreciate. I didn't like you last week, but <laughs> no, right now cool. you're a good that's guy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, well, later on today you'll probably hate me again. It's okay. <laughs> I'm used to the ups and downs. That's that's the comedy life. That's the that's one thing with comedy. That I have noticed is there there are a lot of big personalities. Yeah. And every now and then that can lead to a big personality clash. True. True. <laughs> True. Because I've seen that too many times. It's like it's science. It's like oh, yeah. physics, you know? Yeah. It's like once your egos get too big, mm -hmm. so, there's not enough room. So Yeah. But you gotta stay humble though. I try to stay humble with comedy. So. I yeah, I try to. It's it's hard to do when you're awesome, but I try. True. But <laughs> speaking of awesome though, speak if you want an awesome comic in here. Wiley's. Wiley's. <laughs> No, they're uh, like one of my role models here in town. And I don't know if I can give a shout out. Oh, absolutely! Oh, there. Yeah, Nate Washington. Nate is awesome. Nate's yes. been on the show. He's been he's on been the on radio here? a couple times. Yeah, he, okay. he's fantastic. Yeah, dude is like phenomenal. So absolutely. He, he was. Uh, he was. Was it last week? He was featuring. Yeah. 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 It, fantastic. Yeah. 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 Well, Killed I, the crowd. He's, yeah, he's been funny every time I've yep. seen absolutely. him. He's just he he's he is definitely one of my favorites. But I have a lot of favorites in the. Who's like like who's your favorite favorite like number one? Number one, it's got to be Canistero. It's got to be Mike Canistero. Yeah, okay. Just because okay. I mean he he's one of those guys that's uh, he's goofy enough he can say just about anything and get away with it. I'd agree with that. Yeah, he was at the roast. Yeah, at the well, roast. Cal Restri. Yeah, yeah, at Cal's roast a couple weeks ago, and he was like hilarious. Yeah, Mike Mike is uh, he he's. <laughs> He, he's a uh, he's an unusual guy, and for all the he, right reasons too. Hilarious. He's hilarious oh, for yeah. like the right reasons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, another biscuits, another favorite. Biscuit, of mine. yeah. Biscuit yeah. cracks. He came to like what, like two weeks ago? Yeah, the Sunday comics yeah. headlining. Yes, he did. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, that that was another treat we got Sunday night is Wendy Wendy Ferguson went yep. on stage. She's that's, that's always the fun. first time I've seen her on stage, and I'd say probably a year and a half. Oh wow! Just because I haven't been getting out much, and of course she's been touring with the the MWF, the Micro oh, Wrestling yeah. Federation. True. So. True. Yeah, she's get she's getting out there. She and that's did good a great too. job. Sunday she deserved night. it. Yeah, yeah. 
which it, Sunday night was a good night. A lot of good comics went up. Good crowd. S- Sunday is always good though, because it's a good show. You know, Karen. Yeah. You know, Karen runs it. Oh yeah. yeah. She she knows what she's doing. She's like professional and stuff. So it's always good to see her uh, her show do well. Yeah. And she lets me go up. So shout out to Karen. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> yep. And she she's going to be emceeing this week. For oh, dope. Yeah. I did not know. Yeah. As uh, we're going to do, uh, I think it's time to do the comedy rundown. And I'll play a little uh, little heavy metal. We got some Potter's Field lined up. You ever heard Potter's Field? No. I yeah, have he's, not. he's a, do, do you ever listen to heavy metal? This this no, is like I the screaming. Uh, somebody called it cookie cookie monster metal. I think. No, but let's hear it. Let's do it. it. All right. Uh, that's good. Well, on that note, I think it's time to. Uh, I think it's time to play a little bit of heavy metal, and uh, we'll be back here shortly. <laughs>
Are you into making music, videos, or podcasts? Are you a local comedic talent in need of some much-needed publicity? Are you a behind-the-scenes professional interested in audio, video production, graphic design, and public relations? Eventide Entertainment is actively seeking talents, clients, and professionals to help our business grow into something truly special. And we want you to be one of those. For more information, go to facebook.com slash Eventide Entertainment or send us an email at eventideent at gmail.com. Coming this summer, when biological warfare threatens extinction, the world needs a hero. Inside this bag is the cure for the zombie virus. Ta-da! I'm going to save the world. How about you? William Lee is Zachariah Stone in Cinema Lexicon's Six Feet Below Hell. <laughs> Starring William Lee, William Regglesworth, Banza Townsend, and Aaron Perez. Six Feet Below Hell. Available in Redbox this summer. If you see someone that you know is dead, they might come back to life. Run! So let me see where we're at here. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? I think something went wrong. Uh, somehow I, I managed to hang up on Greg Hahn. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hung up on the my headliner. Apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to hang up on the headliner. I really didn't. Please call back. <laughs> I didn't think you were really going to do it, man. You were yeah. talking about <laughs> There he is. There he is. All right. I, I managed to hang up on you. Are you there? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, there's something uh something wrong with the phone here. We 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 had Greg Hahn on the phone and now That's crazy. Uh, that would be dope. Yeah. That's what I thought. Is he too. already in town? Uh <laughs> Yeah, we're having all <laughs> technical difficulties. Uh, wow. Good going, Don. Yeah, that's, good going. Uh, good going. That's that seems to be the. Uh, let's see. Hope, hopefully, he'll try one more time, and we'll be able to get it work. I'm not sure what's going on, why it's not coming across as it should. Uh, let's try one more time. Hello, you're on the air. No, you're not. No, nope, you're not. Hello. There's something wrong with this phone. I hear nothing. That's okay. I don't know what's going on here then. Let's see where we are. Hello? Crap. Oh, let's see. Well, <laughs> it's a whole lot of dead air going on, so let's see what we got. Why is it not? I can totally it take it from here. Do you need here? me to take it from here? Yeah, I need you to I take it from here. I can totally over, take so. it from here. Uh, Well, huh. The request lines are now open, I yeah, think. Yeah, request lines apparently aren't... Uh, Something is seriously wrong with the, uh, I don't know if that, that might, that's not going to do it. That's not it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't know, but I got a friend named Melissa who's yeah. got a lot of smart comments right now about the technical difficulties yeah, going on. Absolutely. So thank you, and, Melissa. And absolutely Shout out. should have. Hello. Should? See, we can hear him. He can't hear us. So I don't know what they have done to this thing. Uh, Hello. Let me try this. Are you, is anybody on the air? Nope. Oh, crud. I don't know what's going on here. Hello? Well, we have lost Greg Hahn. I don't know what's going on with the uh, with the phone system in here, but it is not working today. Awesome. That blows. That does. So, uh, huh. 
Uh, he's probably he's probably giving up. So now, <laughs> why don't you check your equipment, Don? Before uh, the well, show? because I uh, I'm not the engineer, and they're supposed to have these things working. Responsibility, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Responsibility. If only, if only we had. See, that's the problem with a student-run radio station is sometimes it it just doesn't work right. So, yeah. see, I I'm not the engineer. I'm the on-air talent. I hear a lot. <laughs> I hear a lot of excuses, Don. I hear a lot of excuses. I, but you, from what you, Don. you don't hear is a lot of phone calls. <laughs> I'm the talent. I'm the talent. Uh, uh, Greg, if if you are listening, uh, my sincerest apologies. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna whoop somebody when this is over. So, yeah. Oh well, uh, Patrick, if you're around, fix it. Anyway. Uh, I guess we're going to get on with, with just uh, me and you, Ed. So, I'm the talent. So, yeah, you're the, you're the, talent, the talent now, and uh, we could. Uh, but if you know a good engineer, <laughs> there's a good engineer at Wiley. There's is there two hundred and two times. Two hundred and two times yes. you mentioned that. That is that's going to be a record. It is the number of times that it was Wiley's like 155. I looked it up before I came. Yeah, in. Uh, Greg Hahn, who we just didn't talk to, is going to be headlining at Wiley's this weekend. Yeah, I heard so it. It would have been it would have been great to, I heard he's uh, been to like have everywhere. a phone that's working. Yeah, let's get that I guy had on the him phone. On here. So What's yeah, that I, white I light that blinks? Here. Is that white light him? Well, that was because I picked it up. Oh. See, there's all it is a it said something. Else. I've heard people talking about Greg Hahn for like three weeks now. Like three weeks out. Like, yeah, I heard he was gonna come. Yeah. And he's hilarious, so he I is. can't wait to see him. And I that's that's why I wish we could have got him on the air. Do I need to pick him up from the airport? <laughs> Do I need to pick him up? Uh, well, you, I always you, get that yeah, phone call. Hey, pick somebody up. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I you'd, you'd have call. to talk to Gary. I don't know. Yeah, I've never gotten those phone calls. So. Of course you wouldn't. Yeah. I get them. See, because I'm nobody. Well, let's <clears throat> see. I, I'm I'm worried about picking it up now. Pick it up. It's worth a shot. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. 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 Can you hear us? You can't hear us, can you? I hear nothing. Well, that ain't good. Not a thing. Hello. Yeah, there's some there's something up with our phone system, <laughs> so I can talk to you on here, but apparently I can't talk to you. I can hear you over the air, over the actual. Uh, the, so I, uh, yeah, that I apologize. But, uh, you were on the air just saying hello, and we could we could hear you saying hello, but you couldn't hear us. You got to kick the box. <laughs> that'll work i'm gonna put you on the air and you you got a little bit of time just to yell so let's <laughs> don you <piece> okay of <laughs> okay i apologize for this i'm gonna have a word with our engineer when this show's over <laughs> i will all right i'm gonna put you on the air so you just go ahead and yell <laughs> here you go <laughs> there's greg hon yelling hey, all right don everybody i'm gonna be at wiley's friday and saturday going nuts this is Greg Hahn in a one-way conversation because the uh, tech at the radio station is ridiculous. So I can't hear anything. I'm just yelling in my hotel room with a dude on the other side of the wall, furious, probably trying to take a nap. I don't know who's over there. But anyway, listen, Friday and Saturday, two shows. If you're in college right now, here's how you do a comedy career. You ruin two cars, driving around, learning your act in the Midwest. Then you move to New York. Then you move to L.A. Don't you do what you get to L.A.? Go to the airport, you fly to Dayton and play Wiley's. Come on, man! <laughs> Friday and Saturday, I was an English major. My favorite author was Cliff Snow. Hey, all right. You know you're in trouble when you're taking the SAT test. You can't get the practice question correct. Which one of these does not belong? Car, 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 duck. That second car looks awful suspicious. I'm doing material to myself in my room. Nice hotel room. The housekeeper just knocked on the door, asked me if she could come in and clean up. I said, yeah. She came in, took a shower, and left. <laughs> you got too clever for you. Anyway, all right, Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be there looking for a wife. I need a date and wife. I'm going to even go. Don, I can't hear you, but I might invite, uh, I'm going to call Drew Hastings and see if he wants to do a guest set. I don't even awesome. know who's on the show. <laughs> and of course, Drew's not going to show up, show up, but I thought I'd say that. All right, everybody, Dayton, I can't wait. I'll see you. Wiley's, all right. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. <laughs> Why does Greg Hahn sound like a used car Thanks salesman? A lot. <laughs> uh, who's on the show this uh, this this weekend on the show with you? I believe you, Rich Regains is going to be featuring, and uh, one of the locals, Karen Jaffe, is hosting for you. I, oh, she's she's gorgeous. I think she's taken though. <laughs> 
Karen is on the prowl. <laughs> All righty. Shout out, Karen. All right. I, I, thanks for calling in. Bye. Well, we managed to we managed that was to make amazing. it work somehow. That yes. was hilarious. That was yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in college. <laughs> so so <laughs> where do we go from here, Ed? That was uh hey, but that's that's the first time I've had a one way phone conversation on the air. So first time for everything. There's a first time for everything. And he I think he like did it the best. Yeah. You're not that gonna was top awesome. that. that was, at all. <laughs> he's doing material for himself. At all. <laughs> Can't top it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was good stuff. Uh Wiley's. Wiley's, uh, Wiley's. I'm I get done. The Wiley's. I'm not the Wiley's again. This, this weekend for uh, Greg Hahn uh, with Rich Regains as a feature. Rich Regains. I had to say that correctly that time. Good job. So, so how'd yeah. you get in, into comedy, though? You asked me. I you uh, well, I I started out in in theater. I did live theater about uh, it's been well close to twenty years. Okay, ago enough of that story. That. So what else are we yeah. talking about? And uh, <laughs> and uh, that's yeah, that's all. I, I just I just started being funny. Uh, and then I went on stage and stopped. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna take this to the yeah. stage. Not gonna yeah. take it at all. Uh, yeah, I, uh, enough about me. <laughs> so do you it's, do uh, you get those questions though? I know I get those questions all the time. Hey, uh, how do you know what's funny, or why do you think you're funny? Well, how does it feel to be funny on stage? Like, stupid question. Yeah, I I usually stupid get question. to say something funny, or yeah. are you funny? Are, yeah. No, I get up there because I like to torture people by being boring. I'm, if I wanted to torture people by being boring, I'd be a college professor. Or the president of the United States. <laughs> or Well, he's not boring. He's just stupid. There's a difference. He's a, you're, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Stupid. But yeah. stupid's good, though. Stupid works on stage, too. It, stupid works on stage, too. Uh, it doesn't work as well for uh, you know press conferences as president, but apparently you know apparently it's, it's, a, it's acceptable now. So. What I do like, though, what I do like, not to get on a, a political rant, but the guy speaks his mind. And that's what comics do. Comics speak their mind. Yeah, they that, give you their that's, perspective. That's true. He speaks his mind, but it's the mind that I'm worried about. <laughs> that's the problem. It's the mind He's that's speaking. It's all cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know cocaine turned you orange. <laughs> one of the one of the little known side effects of cocaine is just orange skin tone and hair. Your hair looks like a, an orange. Wait, beaver. hair, hair, uh, hair has not been. That's not been verified yet. That's not been that's verified. Not his hair. Okay. That's not that's, his hair. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I, I don't even want effect. to speculate who he took that hair from. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, we <laughs> could though. We could. It would we, make a good could. three yeah. minutes. Where, where do you think he, he got a hair from? I'm, I'm going to think it was uh, vaginal shavings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why he was what grabbing them all the time. He was testing the hair texture. Yes, we got it. Now. Yes, yes. <laughs> Whose bathroom floor? Yeah. <laughs> Whose bathroom floor? Did the FBI infiltrate? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yeah, you're gonna get some yeah. phone calls. Oh yeah, well, I, I've I've gotten, some, <laughs> but they're not gonna come through. Some, I've gotten some hate mail before. Have you? It's awesome. I About love it. what? Uh, boobs. Boobs. Yes, I had <laughs> like breast. Yes. Yes, apparently there was a boob hater out there, and we discussed boobs too much, and they got they got angry, very Guy very or angry. Uh, my guess would be a woman. Okay, uh, just from the name. Oh, it was male. It was yeah. male. So you just it was written, not a call. It wasn't a phone. Right. Call. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, was a, it was actually a review on wwsu dot or one oh six nine dot org so if you go on there and you go to my show good you press. can find and read that review good and press. go that's funny <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. because that's what i did and then i read it over the air for anybody that missed it how are you mad how are you mad about boobs boob uh, talk we'll i call guess it boob talk. i guess it's i think there are some people that just look for things to be upset about and that just boobs was the word of the day i guess so that's ridiculous. you'll have that you'll have those things. you'll have that yeah uh, do we want to cover some news stories? It's getting close to the top of the hour. Let's do it. So, uh, okay, well, let's let's hit some news then. News. Uh, cheeky criminals have taunted law enforcement since the dawn of time, so it's no surprise that in the era of social media, spats between suspects and police have found a new platform. A Michigan man known on Facebook as Champagne Torino, it's got to be his uh, stage name. Has, to. Uh, <laughs> has to. I'm sure he's a comic too. Uh, is wanted on existing warrants and is a massive troll. When Redford Police Department posted about a home invasion, Torino commented saying, you guys suck. 
<laughs> to which the police department replied, replied uh, Michael, which apparently is his real name, uh, Michael, given your veiled threats to residents and officers on other threads and your inability to engage in constructive dialogue on this page, this is your one warning. If it continues, you will be blocked. But the argument didn't stop there. Torino sent a private Facebook message to Redford Police saying if their next post got a 1,000 shares, he'd turn himself in, bring a dozen donuts, and clean up public schools in the area. Well, unfortunately for the guy, the police accepted the challenge and got more than 3,800 shares. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. (laughs) According to reports, Torino hasn't yet turned himself in. Because he's a thug. Brought the donut. He's about that life. Exactly. Exactly. If you're if you're going to if you're going to make that promise, you got to make good on it. You have to. You have to. Or there's such a thing as honor among thieves. That sounds like some Batman (laughs) Riddler type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Riddle me this. Facebook. We need uh, to re- uh, validate those thirty eight hundred votes. Yeah, yeah, that's quick. true. That's true. That could that could have been that could he's have been thorough. Russian. He's thorough. That yes, could, yeah. yes, he's thorough. If you're yes, going to be a that, thug that in these was, streets, be thorough. Yeah, yeah, and be honest. And be honest. Yeah, because honest, honest, honest crooks. That's what we need. Yes, the world. we need more of those. We do. <laughs> yeah. So turn yourself in, uh, champagne. <laughs> That is the hardest name I've ever heard. Yeah, that you, you the know Moet Mafia. You know you are a hardened criminal when champagne. you go by Champagne oh. Torino. How's he spell it? How's he spell it? Champagne. <laughs> Probably misspelled. Let's see. Uh, Sham P A I N no, Champagne. No, no P A G N E. Oh, okay. I can't even spell the real champagne. <laughs> <laughs> he could, which is why we know. He's not a, th- a thug. He's, he's not a, a thug. He's, he's just a thug. that's why he's hiding behind Facebook. <laughs> he's probably going to turn himself in for parking tickets. That's really that's he'll get caught. Not. He'll get caught like walking his dog. Yeah, <laughs> he'll, he'll be, be walking his toy poodle. <laughs> Jay walking and parking tickets. That's what. Gotcha. You know, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's, that's that's why he's wanted. Where'd you get that news story from? Uh, you know, I don't remember where I got this one from. This one was that usually uh, usually I find silly stuff on Yahoo or uh, Huffington course. Post. Okay, <laughs> uh, the, because I only go with real news. I like, here. This real news, real news. news. This is real news. This is real. This is the important stuff that you need to know. Champagne, For example, shout out. you got to be careful when you're having uh, reconstructive surgery and facelifts in Korea. Uh, three women who visited South Korea for plastic surgery were rendered so unrecognizable that airport officials detained them because they looked nothing like their passport photos. <laughs> <laughs> the trio, That's funny. The trio had visited South Korea during China's Golden Week holiday last week, uh, but when they arrived at the unnamed airport for the return trip, seen in the uh, yeah, they, they <laughs> severely swollen faces and bandages <laughs> around their heads because apparently it didn't go well. Uh, <laughs> Immigration officers at Passport Control didn't believe them when they tried to prove their identity despite displaying their tickets and various documents. Uh, It wasn't clear how long they remained at the airport or if they were able to return to China as of Monday morning. From Korea? Of course they did. They should still be there. (laughs) Which, you know, I guess that, well, when you you go to South Korea for plastic surgery, you know what you're taking a risk. You know know your risk. So they didn't look like their photos. So they couldn't travel. Well, my guess is they didn't look like their photos because they just had surgery and they still had bandages wrapped around their heads. <laughs> I think I've gotten that excuse from a girl on Facebook one time. That she was in South Korea? We met up and she didn't look anything like her photos. Oh, so yeah. She, yeah. So she was in South Korea having plastic surgery. No, no, she was in Azania. You know, I, I met my wife online, actually. Oh. And when we first started seeing At each what website? other. And st- huh? At a website? or Not saying. Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding she might be listening it's i hope birthday, she is birthday, i, hope, I, I met my ex-wife on Pornhub. But, uh, <laughs> but no i we, we started chatting years and years ago before okay. we ever met in person and it, it just cracked me up that every time she sent me a photo of her they look nothing like the other photos she ever sent she's one of those yeah she's, Was a, she's a chameleon oh she just, <laughs> oh yep she looks different in Changes. every picture she takes and she looks different in person too but you married her so yeah she did something right well, because she she looked different in all the pictures, but she looked good in all of them. So you know, it's just a little bit of different good. So were you? So I was uh, good with it. So were you surprised when you met her, or how'd that work? I'm uh, totally putting you on Front Street. 
Oh, that's all right. Well, I, I wasn't surprised. Okay. She, uh, she she accuses me of looking at her ID when we stopped somewhere because she didn't believe I was. Uh, she, she doesn't think I thought she was as old as she said she was. Like, babe, you know, in that because third photo, did, you sent me you were black. She she does look younger than she is. She still does. Okay. But uh, when we first met, she she looked she she looked like she was in her early twenties. Cool. And I think when we first met, how old was she? Uh, I think she was twenty five. Oh, so that's... still kind of in her early twenties. Yeah. Yeah. Mid twenties. Uh, yeah. More yeah, news? It, it went good. Uh, yeah, we, we can do some more news. Some news we got? Uh, let's see what we got here, what we got here. Uh, got to stay ah, abreast. Authorities in Casper, Wyoming, received a call about a visibly Nobody drunk cares man. about anything in Wyoming. Oh, this this is important. Do we care? Okay, this we care. This is important. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> authorities received a call about a visibly drunk man claiming to be from the future. Officers arrived and found Bryant Johnson warning that aliens would be coming next year and that people should leave as soon as possible. He claimed he was from the future. What's his name? Uh, uh, Bryant Johnson. He black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Johnson was so concerned about his mission to save humanity that he requested to speak to, I quote, the president of the town. Oh, he black. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, cops said Johnson had bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and blood alcohol reading and Exceeding the legal limits, he might be missed, and probably the uh, the the Puerto limits Rican. of of man, uh, because he's, he's from, from the future. future. Yeah. yeah, he can take it. it yeah. they, the alcohol tolerance is so much higher Easy. in 2048, <laughs> which is what he actually claimed to be from. Uh, <laughs> he alleged the time traveler, the, but the the alleged time traveler had a perfectly logical explanation Let's for all it. the alcohol in his system. The only way the aliens could send him back in time was to fill his body with alcohol. And make him stand on a giant pad. He was arrested nonetheless. So <laughs> what type of alcohol did he have to have in his body? To, to transport yes, time? Yes, that tequila. the aliens thought. Tequila. Tequila. He was it's messing. He was messing. Definitely <laughs> tequila. <laughs> <laughs> because I have time traveled on tequila before. It does happen. I believe this man's story 100%. <laughs> like I, I said, traveled. there's no fake news here. From, from the Russians hacking and giving 3,800 shares... To the Red, uh, Redford police, or was it Redford? Something like that. In Wyoming. To, yeah. In Wyoming. Well, no, that that one was uh, Michigan. Okay, okay. And then, of course, the time traveler in Wyoming. A time this traveler. is all serious stuff. We serious need to business. take this very seriously. You have to. This is, uh, yeah. Knowledge the, is the power. The aliens are coming next year. They we are. only have a limited amount of Be time. Be drunk when they show up. Because Bryant Johnson <laughs> came to warn us. Uh, thank you, Mr. Johnson. Was that even a warning? I think that was, was a warning. Drunk yeah, he was just drunk Huh? He was just drunk. He was drunk in 2048. Yeah. And he came here. Tequila will do that. Don't eat the worm. There's no telling. <laughs> no telling where you end up if you eat the worm and the tequila. Cause that <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. I never use the term I can't, but right now I'm using the term I can't. I can't with you or Brian Johnson. <laughs> All I right, well, we'll move on because we we have we have sufficiently warned our listeners. What's going on with, yeah. with, uh, with the aliens Public coming service. next year? I wish you would have specified where the aliens were from because that's ah. usually how I decide how to deal with them. Good because point. some of them you can talk some sense into. Some Good of point. the aliens you can, yeah. but some of them, uh, some of them just don't want to hear it. Yeah. They're here to 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 enslave the human race, and that's all they have on their mind. True, it's those single minded uh, extraterrestrials that I can't, I can't, I can't with them i can't i can't <laughs> there are some single-minded aliens in our uh, fairborn actually that's, that's well so. that, now we're back to that heroin again <laughs> <laughs> give it to me straight yeah. <laughs> give it to me straight <laughs> oh okay a uh, baltimore baltimore high school see this is important okay too a baltimore high school was evacuated and five people taken to the hospital on last uh, last thursday in a hazmat scare that turned out to be pumpkin spice air freshener <laughs> because why not uh the the cristo ray uh, jesuit high school uh wrote on its website that a strange odor was detected on the third floor at 2 30 p.m it was a smell that they certainly weren't used to unless they went to starbucks uh so said, uh, bill people. heiser the school's president it appeared to be getting stronger yeah because as, as you go into fall, pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice is everywhere, Couldn't and now it, it's into it's in our schools. Because white people know what pumpkin spice smells like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's there. <laughs> it's, that is the number one threat to national security. To hell with the Russians. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice. Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, the school was evacuated with emergency medical teams uh, treating some people on the scene. For what? For pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Oh, my God. <laughs> As the Baltimore City Fire Department's hazmat, hazmat unit investigated the odor. What do you treat them with? Five members of our community. The, the school said five members of our community were transported to area hospitals as a precautionary measure. Pumpkin spice. Some taxpayers <laughs> pay for five people to get treated. For pumpkin spice. For Starbucks. I, I, <laughs> for Starbucks. I agree. Pumpkin spice needs to be eradicated. Some principal with a hangover. <laughs> yeah, get that coffee so out of my Filled his pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> and school was out. <laughs> it used to take three feet of snow to get a snow day. They get let out for pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. This is not right. Pumpkin spice. I feel like I was cheated in my youth. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> so if you're at school and you get in trouble and you got to go to the principal's office, bring pumpkin spice. Right, because you'll get out. Not and only will you get out, they will pull the fire alarm and everybody's going to get out done. for uh, pumpkin spice. That's, that's, that's P.S. Day. <laughs> pumpkin spice pumpkin Day. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Because, well, what it was, they canceled Columbus Day because nobody wanted that. So the teachers got angry and decided they were going to have pumpkin spice day. They said we're going to pumpkin spice this yeah. whole place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. bringing. I'm getting my entire housewives club in here, <laughs> and we go straight some stuff out. Yes, yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin spice, pumpkin so, spice. Yeah. That's that. That is definitely a rich people problems. The, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's for sure. Because you're not going to find I that never... in a black school, man. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the what? <laughs> Oh, man. oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> Pumpkin spice. Yeah, I, I I haven't seen I haven't seen Aaron Phillips run past the window yet. Aaron Phillips. Usually, usually he streaks by the window. The mayor of the Oregon the, district. Yes, the the mayor of the uh, Dayton's Oregon district. Yes, not the mayor of Dayton. No, I wouldn't have them on my show. No, but the mayor of <laughs> the mayor of the Oregon district. Welcome. Every he's important. Time. You need to have absolutely, that guy. Absolutely, absolutely. He, he decides. People. He's he decide. He's he's the great uh, uniter. His store. Have you ever been in his store? I have. Feathers. That place is like crazy. There's some neat stuff in there. There, there is. Yeah. And there's a lot. Of, there's I bought some comedy neat. albums from that really? place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. He's got a lot of vinyl. In yeah, there. he's got some. Uh, I bought some Richard Pryor out of uh, George Carlin out of there. So, there you yeah. go. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, man. All right, we better take a break. And this is to just every now and then we have to appease the aliens. That are on the way. Got to be drunk when you do it. Right. Well, that's tequila. You thought this was water. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, uh, silver. That's uh, what's his, yeah. That that's uh, yeah. that's Jose Cuervo Jose. silver is what's. I'm eighteen hundred uh, guy. Yeah. yeah. So. Usually I do vodka, but I knew the alien story was coming up, and we would need our tequila. Twenty forty eight. So <laughs> twenty forty eight. It's coming. Uh, yes, they're here. Uh, <laughs> on that note. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play some uh, Mr. Wiggly's exploration launch to appease the aliens. Not on my watch. You gotta play that when oh, I'm in here. No. Yeah, the, absolutely. Have you listened to Mr. Wiggly? No, I have not. See, you don't know what you're missing. You have any J Cole? You gotta play some J Cole. I don't know what that is. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. I you do know, know what? what it is. I don't have any. You I, know what? Put on your Mr. Wiggles. This, this, is, this is Mr. Wiggly's Exploration Launch, which is Dayton's number one space funk band. Oh, let's go then. Yeah. All yes. about Dayton. Let's go. If, yeah. If, you, let's if do you've it. never lived, well, they're Dayton's only space funk band, but they're also the number one. They're it's the true. best space funk you can find true in news. the area. Absolutely. So uh, this is this is Go to Mars with me. Let's go. This is to appease the aliens. So we're going to take a break. We will be back here shortly. Go to Mars.
she talks about great and wrongs Well, that sounds just great and fun I don't think you want to go in wrong What you talk about, Willis? Wednesdays on Eventide, Robert Yetter and Mike Shea sit down and throw albums at each other, talking about them, picking them apart, ripping them a new one. All different artists, all different genres, all different levels of suckage. It's Track Record, Wednesdays at 9 a.m. on the Eventide Podcast B. For more information, go to eventideent.com. Coming this summer, when biological warfare threatens extinction, the world needs a hero. Inside this bag is the cure for the zombie virus. Ta-da! I'm going to save the world. How about you? William Lee is Zachariah Stone in Cinema Lexicon's Six Feet Below Hell. <laughs> Starring William Lee, William Regglesworth, Banza Townsend, and Aaron Perez. Six Feet Below Hell. Available in Redbox this summer. If you see someone that you know is dead, they might come back to life. Run! Okay, I don't know what's going on out there, but... Somebody's with the vocals. Yeah, yeah, somebody's out there singing. Sing it. Uh, We're still waiting on uh, Aaron Phillips. 
uh, to show up, but uh, but Ed has stuck around. I'm here. So I I'm guess here. I guess we can hit me uh, with the heavy questions. Yeah, we let's do it. You want another interview? We just want to start you, over. Hit me with the heavy questions, man. All right, uh, I don't have any heavy questions. Good, <laughs> good, good. But ho- hopefully, Aaron Phillips will be in soon. Uh, but until then, um, more news. Hey, there, there he is. There He's on go. the way in the studio now. So I guess I'll turn his mic on. So he, he can sit over next to you. I'm not but, moving uh, because Aaron Phillips walked well, no, in. He, he can sit next to you. I'm totally not moving. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. at all. I'll tell him that. Not moving. He he may be the he may may be the mayor of the Oregon district. He ain't nothing here. Not in here. <laughs> Come on in. We're on the air. See, you, you interrupted the show, but it's your show. It's okay. So you can, <laughs> can have a seat next to Ed over there. Your mic is on. You're hot. You're good to go. I mean, yeah, you're, you're sexy. And you have to be entertaining because yeah, I have yeah, talked yeah. you up. Oh, we have talked you up. Close that door so we're not interrupting. Get the, Greg Hahn called in and did some solo screaming into the phone because he couldn't hear us. So, <laughs> so in case you missed that part, it I'm was exciting. Sorry I thought I I'd that. share. Yes. Uh, Aaron Phillips, the, the mayor of the Oregon <laughs> district, <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> has made it into the studio with us. So, uh, Thank welcome. You. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> it's, it's good to have you, as always. Always good to have you. How's uh, How's feathers? Ah, oh, it's good. Uh, just yes. uh, there's a new store going in. The people next to us got evicted, and a new store signed a lease on last Monday, and they are almost ready to open now. I mean, it's been teams of people working to get this. Heart what what is the store next door? Heart Mercantile used to be a, a block away from us on Fifth Street. They're moving right next to Feathers, so uh, it's exciting. Lots of Mercantile. activity. Yeah, it's, it's like gifts. I, yeah, I, sell... I feel like I have to ride a horse up to it. Dayton. <laughs> Do they have a hitching post out front? Yeah. That... Actually, some of the houses back there have the original. That's oh, like a selling you, point, and the uh, the carriage steps from when they when they actually had a carriage right. in the back in the organ in the oh, historical don't... neighborhood. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, the hysterical neighborhood. <laughs> hysterical, the hysterical district. Wait, that's Wiley's. <laughs> that is Wiley's. 325. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've, we've been talking about news, but we can talk about you now. Oh, I mean. Because since you're here and you're important, you're Aww. important to us. Oh. <laughs> uh, tell us about the, the, the thought process behind comedy in the streets. <laughs> because that sounds like just random acts of comedy. It just sounds like you're getting mugged by funny. <laughs> So tell us a little. <laughs> well, you guys are both on the show, so I should probably tell you how it yeah, is. Yeah, since I, uh, yeah. I haven't been on the show yet uh, until next, this Saturday. Uh, so. This coming Saturday, October 14th, 930-ish, out, literally out in front of our store, 440 East 5th Street, right across from Ned Pepper's Bar. And uh, it really, yeah, you, you, <laughs> my, my advice to, to either of you is uh, don't just do straight material. you got to acknowledge that there's people there. There's people who have gone up and just done material and it, it's not a regular show it's, it it's, doesn't uh, sound yeah you gotta I, have uh some crowd work you gotta do you can you can even kind of one um the first show we did outside i'm i'm not even counting the other ones these have been so good i'm like yeah, <laughs> i don't want to do it inside again i like because it's so and it's easy too because yeah. the, the store is very tight space right. <laughs> if ever people that are hearing this that have been there are like yeah no kidding but uh, uh <laughs> And so, and to have the show, we have to move everything out, and then there's always the worry that something might get broken, or if we do it out front, we don't have to move anything, and the only thing that might get broken is, you know, t- somebody taking a swing at you. Right. That could happen. Oh, I'm not, oh yeah. That, could, that's I not going to happen that. in downtown Dayton. No. Uh, people get along no. so civilly. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But uh, the we're, first Now we're show... back to heroin again. <laughs> <laughs> Just full circle. We're right back to it. <laughs> The first show we did outside, uh, the guy that closed it out ran uh, Barnaclo from uh, Cincinnati. He just did like 35, 40 minutes of just, what are you guys, the two most handsome people on the street? Get out of here, you psychos. I mean, he just did that, like, like lightly, like, roasted everybody. everybody. I mean, they <laughs> came by, like, every group of people. And the, uh, oh, man, they were they were talking about it across the street, uh, t- trying to get – they're the more the later we start it later too than we do with the inside ones because you got to have more people right yeah and on the weekends down there after and you got to make sure they're good and drunk yeah 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 yeah. they're more down for it there's people though that um you can see it's fun i've noticed people on opposite ends of the street 
going out of their way to avoid walking past them. Oh, they yeah. can see what's going on, and they're <laughs> no, like, oh, no, 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 jokes, no, no <laughs> jokes. That's, well, that's like everybody being afraid to sit in the front exactly. of the uh, room. Well, the front row a, is the sidewalk, club, so. Yeah, exactly. It's a, we the can homeless live people love it. The homeless people are. Yeah. <laughs> they're there every night. Yeah. Every night. Yeah. Have you handed any of them the microphone, though? No, but the first show, another thing that happened the first show we did uh, I think it was oh it was uh, Dan Burke paid one of the Phil like one of the the famous homeless guys out there uh, usually panhandling uh, gave him five bucks to sit and watch the show and I it's the longest I've ever seen him sit still he's usually up just oh wow hitting up people for money and he he the other day while he was hitting me up for money he said that was a good show nephew I'm nephew he calls me nephew oh <laughs> we're not okay. related not the mayor <laughs> no that's well that's not right I <laughs> answered the nephew. <laughs> He calls oh, okay. my he calls my mom Connie. Her name is Janet. He calls my dad Larry. His name is Bill. Larry, Bill. Yeah, I can see and that. Nephew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nephew. I'm nephew. Nephew. I don't get a name. Yeah, well, you're ju- yeah, you're just generic relative. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's Snoop all your dog name reference. Is, so. yeah. <laughs> nephew. What I do? <laughs> that was a perfect Snoop Dogg I, I, impression. I, yeah, yeah, well, that was clean. <laughs> I didn't know that. You okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was you that dinged. Okay. Muting it. That's all right. Yeah. Mute, mute your dinghy. But we <laughs> we had. Uh, hey. <laughs> I, I was unaware that there were famous homeless people in yeah, if, on that street. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's he's, and that's that's he's their, Dayton famous. He's local oh, Dayton famous. famous. <laughs> Dayton okay. Famous. For all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing so good. That's, yeah, it's not. <laughs> that's, oh, that's he's most just a charming. Famous. It's not like that guy. Remember that guy a couple years ago that was like the announcer that they found yeah, homeless. Yeah. 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 No, he has no. Uh, so, yeah, he'll sell purple haze for money, but he really shouldn't. I mean, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I was I was trying to figure he's an out institution if were... down there. I okay, mean, he's, okay. he's been there since I was a kid, and I've been there since I was a kid. So. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been down there since I was a kid. Yeah. I've known about it and avoided it since I was a kid. What the Oregon district? Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oregon district's fine. It's, That's that, your that, audience, that, man. Don't talk is, to people about coming to watch. Yeah, yeah. it's because you never know. It also you never know what you'll see either. And it's there's. Uh, last time we did it there were people all i mean it was like it was september 30th and i mean so by midnight i guess it was october but there were already people and i, I assume that's what why they were doing it but there were already people in halloween costumes oh wow that were like that's dope and uh ned pepper is just dancing. Well, yeah, oh, you, cost, you halloween can just costumes assume, are encouraged yeah. too for the show i've told people to dress up i know some people are and it might be cold too that's the other reason so if your if your costume's like an Eskimo or something, you're you're good. I don't know. I was I, telling them about your uh, your commercials when you guys do commercials during the show. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are the commercials? I I was kind of curious about that. I shouldn't be curious about that. No, I just. Oh okay. I mentioned the place. I mentioned uh, we're going to be mentioning Wiley's. I got a bunch of uh, uh, passes. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, Wiley's. I should give some of those away. What is Wiley's? Radio. What is Wiley's, Wiley's Comedy Club? Uh, Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in downtown Dayton's historic Oregon district. I'm going to check that Ohio's place out. oldest yeah. comedy club. Yeah, Ohio's oldest comedy, comedy club. And they always say, it says on the sign, Ohio's oldest and Dayton's first. Well, if it's Ohio's oldest, it would have had to been Dayton's first, because if there was one before it in Dayton, that would have been the oldest. <laughs> yeah, I'm you're just right. going to say, yeah, sense? yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Unless it was a Dayton before there was an Ohio. Because that yeah, was so totally was before Dayton the state was, was like incorporated. Ohio's so yeah, yeah. so there yeah. was like a, a, a comedy club in like 1792. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say, y'all, the, <laughs> the powdered wigs. Well, maybe stuff. it was a Native American. What is it about club? those slaves? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People try not to. Like, Oh, I had, there are so many bill. bad thoughts running through my head on that. It's like, I better not say any of this. <laughs> They're so fast yeah. <laughs> when they get going. Oh, that, <laughs> that is wrong and funny. <laughs> it's okay. We've we've gone wrong already on this show That's earlier, a good so. premise. That's a good yeah. premise. <laughs> I'm going to write a bit about it, and I'm going to do it at the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, oh, and there's people coming out of the porn store the entire time. and yeah, it's British just- meat taxes. <laughs> 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 Them British meat taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Paying taxes is like. <laughs> yep, somebody what about these pantaloons? <laughs> what about these pantaloons? <laughs> 
So I'm wearing this wig the other day, right? <laughs> carriage jokes. Lots of carriage <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Oh, oh that messed up. Your horse loses uh, the shoe. Uh, <laughs> Thomas Jefferson headlined at Wiley's one time, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he did. Yeah, it is. It has been there that long. That long. Yeah. yeah, he was. He was a great comic. He was one of the first. I heard. I yeah. heard. He was one of the first alt comics. First what? <laughs> alt comics. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> uh, oh. oh man. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Now we have to compose ourselves. We See, do. I said we shouldn't earlier. Now we have to. We have to. Well, the, Eric, the, mayor's the mayor's here. here. The mayor's. <laughs> oh, by all means, I'm glad I'm, I'm the only one doing this show together. <laughs> yeah, you are the oh. clue that holds, yeah, yeah, that holds this the anarchy, right? Yeah. Here. Well, we want to do a good showing in front of the mayor. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's he's got his own yeah. parking space outside. <laughs> he should, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come early if you do come to the show. Um, because parking will be kind of it is kind of tight. They just they turn one of the lots. Over by Jay Seafood, it's a pay lot now, so everybody's parking. Oh wow! To avoid a pay lot, they're parking right. on the street. So street parking has gotten really kind of. I just that's just advice to, to anybody who might be listening. Any no, you guys par- too? Parking's but, always been kind of. It's odd t- there. well, there's real close spaces. Have I mean nobody wants to nobody wants to walk. I mean it's. Yeah, that was weird. I thought it was like yeah. <laughs> It's like a, there's another radio station going on right outside of the yeah. radio station. <laughs> But Quiet yeah. out there. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, yeah, that's just good advice. It's just, if you don't mind walking, there's there's still spaces. It's just people, everybody wants to be real close. And we're kind of right. spoiled down there. Other cities, you have to block for blocks, you know, to get a space sometimes. Is know? that Daltrey? Are they playing Daltrey? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's just Daltrey. Yeah. Hey, we'll open the door and see what they're doing. Don't. Tell them to shut the hell up. Why do I know what Daltrey is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, uh, Daltrey, is that the... the Who's the group? American oh, okay. Idol guy. Okay, he that's, has a band that's what named I thought. After oh, okay, yeah. okay. That's an ego. We are Name all Daltrey. Band <laughs> yep, we are Daltrey. <laughs> all y'all Daltrey. Daltrey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's how we told him. All we're, y'all Daltrey. He just walked in and told his band that yeah. one day. Like, yeah, we're Daltrey now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. we have a meeting about this? Yeah. Like, Which one of us was a runner-up on American Idol? <laughs> You're Daltrey. Daltrey. <laughs> I am this man, yeah. literally. He's like... Some egomaniac. <laughs> yes, that's that's uh, that's what happens when you're on American Idol. <laughs> yeah, yep. just it, idol. That's it's all there. You know, <laughs> yeah. worship me. I'm American <laughs> yeah. Idol now. The American way. Yeah, People there. You. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We are adultery. I quit the band for personal reasons. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chris changed the name of the band to his own name yeah. and told us we all had to worship yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. And I had an issue. Yeah. He wanted us all to change our last names to adultery. Yeah. <laughs> Like we were married. <laughs> yeah, he said. For Which tax I was purposes. fine with. The sex <laughs> tax <was kind laughs> of rough. I don't want to share him with four other guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not that kind of guy. Yep. Yeah. That's him and his brother wives in the band. <laughs> <laughs> brother wives. Not that kind of guy. Oh. That's, that's the TV that's, pitch, right? That's... Somebody'd watch a show called Brother Wives. <laughs> I'm sure that... somebody would. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's oh well, wow. Big West Brother Virginia. Wise. <laughs> Big West brother Virginia, wise. yeah. West Virginia would love that show. What's that, Brother Wise? Who would love it? West Virginia. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh yeah, yeah. But they they probably have brother fathers. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's another show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole sister channel. sister moms sister. <laughs> we should start having a writing group right now. Teen that's sister right. moms. <clears throat> that is that is just wrong. We Making apologize to the of, state uh, of West Virginia. <laughs> Well, no, that's because these what views wrong. don't uh, reflect on any of us, right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. The views expressed do not reflect the views uh, the, of any of us. <laughs> uh, uh, I just basically say things that I heard <laughs> on uh, fake news, and that's all. There's no fake news <laughs> that, in here. That's right. There's no fake news in here. This is all absolutely 100% grade A meat, and it's important. <laughs> <laughs> Live radio meat. Yes, meat. Yes, <laughs> Don't ever look at me with that look on your face and say meat. meat. <laughs> like that. <laughs> the table uh, moves. You, you, you didn't know what you were walking into when you came into the studio. But that's all we are is meat. <laughs> I should have I should have warned you. I, I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> meat. Yeah, Aaron knew. He's been meat before. <laughs> On air meat. Oh. Oh, wow. 
I think that's a website, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> what's, what's, what's that called? Rule 34? Yeah, that's probably it. Someone's going to write a letter right now about that uh, comment. Oh, yeah. They're, they're already writing The sexy sure. studs of radio <laughs> calendar. <laughs> That was Mayor my plan. Meet. You were Mister <laughs> October. My surprise for you was the radio meet <laughs> the calendar. <laughs> Leaning all over a car yeah. like a white snake video. Like this, I don't yeah. know. Sitting on top of the switchboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got to get his story. We got to get his comedy story on why he started comedy. You got mine. Do we? <laughs> you got mine. Okay, Aaron. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah. It, it is fair. We should. We should. We should get your why. What? Why? Yeah, exactly. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, never mind. I ask myself this every day. Uh, <laughs> why did I do this? Why did you do this, Aaron? <laughs> well, it's for the uh, the adventure and the and the money and the yeah. <laughs> and the women yep. and the uh, and the radio and the respect <laughs> and, and, well, and the radio respect. time. Yes. Yes. This is the only way I could get radio time. As well. well, comedy brings respect to your uh, mayorship. Yes, true. Yes, I make them kiss the yeah. ring. I yeah. don't have any rings. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the. That, <laughs> People think I walk around get... down there in that white suit, like over my shoulders, yeah. like a like a don, like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Collect, collecting, don, yeah. collecting everybody's protection money. Yeah, yeah I got gotcha. you. I knew there was a reason that you were the mayor. It was that protection. Get your racket cup off, you got up going top. On yeah, I want to wet my beak. <laughs> <laughs> Palms got to be greased. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice store you got here. Be a shame if something <laughs> happened to it. What really happened to the to your neighbor store? What what really? Why did they really get evicted? Uh, they were well. They, they, they crossed you, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> did. Uh, they, <laughs> they complained about your comedy show out on the street one time too many. Well, they had a huge party in their store, and among other things, I was told was that they got evicted because it really got out of hand and like upset everybody, and they were late on their rent. But other stuff was going on that. Ah, I can't. Okay. I can't okay. discuss. Yeah, okay. they didn't. They didn't pay you. I let Ed pay up. <laughs> yeah, pay the yeah. protection no, money. We weren't stupid. We knew it was going. Something was going on there. There, people were coming in and out the back door all the time. And oh, there you go. Yeah, that's yeah, that's back door store. That's, yeah, <laughs> I think that was further down the street. Though, <laughs> yeah, that's a different place. <laughs> and they have all your needs. That's the one with all those X's <laughs> in the window and the neon. Yeah, the mannequins with the uh, pumpkin sized. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I thought that was your story. No, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. None of our mannequins have. Yes, none of your man- <laughs> Meat. <laughs> yeah, meat. <laughs> oh, man. This is uh, it's more than I bargained for on the show today. <laughs> Good time. Good. Good time. Yeah. So uh, who were some of your comic influences that got you, that really got you going? Uh other than, a, other than John Morris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's He's it. He's going to murder Done. all of us. Done. I'm, I said, this is what I want to do. I want to be like John Morris. Uh, I just had to throw that out there. We love you, John. <laughs> yeah. Murdering all that's of not, us. Uh, that's not a good get out of hand there. Well, I okay. really we're, like... You're um, all right, John. One of, the, I, one of the first shows I ever saw, uh, Emo Phillips. Emo Phillips oh, no. was an influence yeah. because just because he came into the shop... And bought like jazz. He bought jazz records from us. He would come every year for a long time, and he would come in, and we knew him. And he at one point he had me come around with him and hang up posters for the show. Mm-hmm. And uh, cool. Um, I remember t- I remember telling him like I went back. Uh, he gave us free passes, so I went and watched. And uh, that's also the first time I saw. And this is a good segue. Uh, Ryan Singer. He opened oh, for yeah. emo, and he he's going to be at Wiley's oh, on uh, Thursday. Right. Yeah. Thursday, yeah. Uh, that's going to be a great show. Check that out. Ryan Singer and his friend <laughs> at a uh, Wiley's Lucas, comedy show. Austin, yeah. Austin Lucas. Austin yeah, Lucas. Austin Lucas. Ryan Singer. And yeah, <clears throat> and uh, I remember going, getting up the courage and going. This is back. The green room is where the ice machine is. That office. And right. I went back there and I'm like, oh, Mr. Phillips. And the joke was, I'm Phillips, but he's a Phillips with one L, so we're not related. Right, right, but uh, right. Mr. Phillips, that was cool. I'd like to try that sometime. And I didn't try it for like I didn't even attempt to do comedy for like four years after that. And ever since then, I've, I've had we've he hasn't been back to Dayton for a while, and when he was, I was out of town, and but I'd really love to uh, show him this. That's all his fault. It's not completely him. Now, I like his stuff. I like when, his writing. When he came into your store to buy jazz records, was he the same personality? Was it is Do not far away. Jazz it records. really he plays it up a little bit, but he uh, is he's odd in conversation. I mean, uh, he would. I think he was messing with me too because I'd be walking. We would be walking from store to store and i'd be talking to him it's like hey i can't hear out of this ear 
And I go over here. It's like, um, you have to speak up. I think he was just to have somebody to make fun yeah, of. But, probably was. <laughs> but um, Opie, that uh, Rob's son yeah. that used to work there, he would uh, he would tell me when when the emo came to town, he would just wander off. That's okay. Radio silence. We like that. He would just wander <laughs> off, and uh, he would he would wander off over on the, across across the river. He'd be over on West Third Street, not know where he is, and he'd be playing a little wooden flute. Like he would take out like a like emo a, emo would be playing this flute, walking around West Third Street, and finally I don't know how he'd call. <laughs> Opie would get a call, and it would be like this was maybe one time. It was like, but it was like twenty five minutes before the show, and he had to go drive over there and pick him up, and he was like. Opie's first thought was that he'd just wander off and get, you know. <laughs> playing, playing his fife. Yeah. You never see him again. <laughs> but uh, he was always an influence, Emo was. Like I even said, I, I told him, I said, you should call your fans Emophiliacs. And he's like, yeah, we had t-shirts of that in the 80s. And I had no idea. Oh, well, but he's like, well, but great minds, you know, across parallel thinking. But I I thought it was funny. And uh, Steve Martin, of course. I really like Steve Martin. Oh. Like we had, my parents gave me uh, cassettes of his when I was a kid. And Robin Williams. They don't remember even doing it. But I've played them until they broke. And uh, <laughs> just fun stuff. Like Steve Martin, I like how he just deconstructed all of comedy. You know, like right. he just, he did, he'd make jokes about comedy itself. Like yeah, me- meta humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, and his his book, uh, Born Standing Up. I never, I haven't read many comedy books or guides or anything, but that book, really recommend. It was just a really cool story. He started at Disneyland working in the magic shop doing magic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then here there he is. Yeah. And now here you are. Yeah. We've we've come full circle. <laughs> I had a friend who texted me, so I gave him my phone. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Her text, her text goes, That's so weird. The Oregon district has a mayor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Melissa I just no. told my I called start calling myself that once just because I wanted someone to say, You can't be because I am. I just wanted somebody to challenge me on it. I thought yeah, it would be nobody funny. did. Nobody so did. And I was like, it. okay, yeah. I'll go. There's probably better candidates, definitely. I'll I'll say that. So you're the <laughs> untested there was such mayor. A thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, self proclaimed. This isn't yeah. like a title. It's yeah. like there's the mayor of Hollywood. That's not that's not the actual I don't know. That's like a ceremonial title, I think. Yeah, but We've all accepted it. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. So you are, it's official now. Yeah. And now it's. If anybody now wants to come for me and, now and it's, yeah, fight me it, for the title. It, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on all challengers. Yep. This Sunday. <laughs> what? Nope, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Someone's going to come up and attack me with a chair in the middle of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, if yeah. anybody was thinking yeah, of that, that, yeah, that wouldn't that be cool. probably wouldn't be. Unless it's one of those easily broken, you know. Oh, yeah, like, breakaway like, chair. Like, yeah, like a stunt breakaway chair. Breakaway chair, stunt chair. That, that'll work. Because it really would make great entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> someone bring a stunt chair yes bring regular yeah. chairs too you'll probably need somewhere right. to sit yeah like yeah, yeah cause, uh, but not in the street no don't sit yeah, in the street would, yeah i wouldn't recommend it mainly because those bricks are a little uneven yeah They'll fall over and there's there's cars going by it that's yeah. also a challenge there'll be motorcycles going by revving stuff you never have to worry about in a club like usually it's like a drunk bachelorette party or something but this is You'll have a guy just get a lot revving of drunk, his bike. Br- drunk bachelorettes on motorcycles. No, I mean, that's a, that's a that's a common like comedy club. Oh yeah, people yeah, complain yeah. about like oh man they were loud or something. But yeah. well, you'll have them down there too. Right, <laughs> they'll be right. down there as well. But they'll usually it passes. <laughs> if it's good, usually they just stagger on. If by. they're good, they if it's a good audience, they don't stick around that long either. But if it's bad, they also don't stick around that long either. Right. It kind of changes the entire time. There's people that stop what they're doing and had no idea the show was going on and are excited and that's awesome. That's cool. That's really. There's cool. people that like change their plans and well, let's watch this for a minute. You know, yeah, yeah, that's always good. Do you ever put a guitar case out there and try to busk good like busking comedians? Well, the last time yeah. I was able to actually uh, give give the out of town comics some money, that was nice. Oh, you know, cool. usually yeah. uh, before it was like I'm paying you an experience, maybe yeah. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> But I was gave, I was able to give him like ten bucks for gas, you know, or a oh, couple that's bucks. Good. You know, that's, cool. that's good. better than nothing. And that's you know, every I still <laughs> this is where I, I feel like I'm at for comedy is I will never not be surprised when I get paid. If I do get paid, it's always a surprise. Like, <laughs> wow, oh, cool. I wasn't yeah, wow, this. yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I'm never expecting it, but yeah. it would be nice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a nice <laughs> surprise. Yeah. every now and then. So you don't. Yeah, and they always lower your expectations. You'll never de- be disappointed. And the first, the first time I did, I did a show and they paid us. The guy did the thing where he folded the money up in a little square and put it in his hand and shook my hand. 
and I didn't know that's what was going on. I was like, what, do I have to go get you drugs yeah. now? Yeah, what's, you, what's gave this? Him a, like, you gave him a joint. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? Meat. <laughs> meat. All right, speaking of meat, we're going to play a little music. I don't know why that's uh, meat reminded me of that, but we better take a break uh, and deal with our uh, – Yeah, that's all right. All right. <laughs> uh, here's a little more Potter's Field, uh, just because I like to watch Ed headbanging over there. And we will be back here shortly. Why do you say that
Are you into making music, videos, or podcasts? Are you a local comedic talent in need of some much-needed publicity? Are you a behind-the-scenes professional interested in audio, video production, graphic design, and public relations? Eventide Entertainment is actively seeking talents, clients, and professionals to help our business grow into something truly special. And we want you to be one of those. For more information, go to facebook.com slash eventideentertainment or send us an email at eventideent at gmail.com. All right, we are back on the air. See, I, we, we got to laugh and I forgot I was even coming back on the air. I forgot we had a show to do. Uh, this, is this, is life, show? this is a life radio show. I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in the studio with Ed and uh, Ed John. Yep. Or just Ed. Just <laughs> Ed. Ed, Ed works. And, uh, and Aaron Phillips, the, the mayor of the Oregon District. And, we're, and we've been talking about Wiley's. Is that 308 now? That's like, that's, yeah. like 200. That's, oh, okay. I, I thought we were already over We went down. We, we oh, <laughs> Aaron we came down. on and we we, we lost some. We went down. <laughs> we went down. Eh, that's not right. Anyway, uh, it, it's it's about twenty minutes till the end of the show, and unless anybody has any other pressing issues, they have to discuss any comedy relating have to be out there, or should we do news? I well, I want to tell you about this house show we did this last week. Oh, okay, uh, okay, was, yeah, the uh, it was the time outdoor. Traveler. <laughs> yeah, no, this was different. This is this is a different. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a previous one, but we won't go into that. But uh, this was a house show. We were in a backyard, um, and then the uh, thunderstorm started. Thunderstorm started, and they uh, there was a guy uh, still. They had a, a PA set up. There's this guy rapping, and we're like, "Dude, unplug the uh, PA. You're gonna. I mean, there's lightning. The, the cables to the to the uh, PA were in water, and they go. They mess with it." And they blow a fuse, blow the power out at the house completely and the neighbor's house. Awesome. And it's downpouring rain. So a bunch of people leave. But we go inside and go. To, they light a bunch of candles. And they go into the basement. And the guy plays acoustic guitar. And then, I, then I'm up next and I just have to shout to this candle-filled dark basement. And uh, it was okay. So uh, then like John was... Holmes from Cincinnati went up, and then Mike Holinsky closed the show out, and he said, can I just change the energy for a minute? And he drags, there's this big coffee table. It's just like the living room. It's in the basement. Drags the coffee table out of the way and lays down on this, fil- the place was filthy, filthy basement floor, but it was fun, and just does the show on his back, flat on his back <laughs> with everybody sitting around him. It looked like we were going to sacrifice him. I mean, it was the weirdest one yeah, of the it weirdest like things. A weird comedy Mike would ritual. be down for a sacrifice. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, Travis uh, Charles was there. He's he said he's been doing it for like twelve years. He said it was the weirdest thing he'd ever seen in twelve years of stand up. Was just flat on your back in the dark, <laughs> in a candlelit basement. Like it could have gone real. Could have gone another yeah. way. But it was a fun comedy show. But yeah, you wouldn't if, think if so. I was because uh, Helensky's kind of a kind of a small frame fella. Yeah. If if I was his size, I would not lay down in a basement in a dark basement with candlelight <laughs> with Travis Charles there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just sort of. He wasn't even close. As, he was just sort as of. As we off said before the, the break, meat, meat, yeah. <laughs> meat. <laughs> I just had to get that out. That was that was okay, unusual. Well, yeah, that, you know why? Why I, you do I, I stand up that, stuff like that? That's yeah, why. That's, that that was lay down comedy. Yeah, and, it was not stand up. It was yeah. like I stood up. Well I might done. I might do well that fri- uh, Saturday night at the show and just <laughs> lay want, down man. in the street. Just, <laughs> no, because that's just hack. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. hack. Don't do in it. the street. Yeah, I have a well, stage. That's, most of what I do is hack, so it's okay. I have a portable <laughs> stage to set up now too. A little. Oh, it's do not, you? It's about. It's a riser about as long as this table. Maybe it's about two feet up, but it, it's better than just being flat. We'll be. Right. You'll be up above. Someone will fall off of it. It'll be. Oh fine. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Invite puke. He'll yeah, definitely yeah. fall off. God. <laughs> That's a name I don't want to hear. You again. weren't here for puke, were you? Ed? No. Okay, you you didn't miss anything. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I think he's the only person I've ever seen fall off of uh, Wiley's stage. He fell off he of tra- Wiley's he, stage. He tried to st- he thought he'd be funny, which I mean it was the funniest thing he did in any time I've ever <laughs> he was seen just him incoherent. on stage. Incoherent. Yeah, he's he's an was idiot. He drinking? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, he's a he's a and hippie. It, it, rather than go off the side steps, he decided he was going to walk on the tables he's in stupid. front. He should have fallen. Went down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He should have fallen. Okay. Yeah, yep. He I did. Had to, I had to yeah. follow him. He was there one year, and he he doesn't. The most coherent things he talks about was he was just denigrating just women. Just right. I don't oh, you hate yeah. how they're oh, every yeah. word you've ever heard. That I'm not going to say. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and he just went down the list with like no context. And I remember Candace, this is back when Canastero ran the show, and he's like, "We're going to hope that this guy named Puke, maybe he's great. It's just, I've never seen him before." But in, just in case, we'll put you after. And I thought that was a nice compliment. And I, yeah, I was I think like, Lindsay Coleman 
followed him one time too. Oh, she no. just tore him to pieces. Oh, good. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was a little angry. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, I just said, professor of women's studies, puke. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Great follow up. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was fun. And that then he fell off the stage, and I had to go up. I followed him after that. And I was just like, I'm just going to get a shirt made. Says, I clean up puke. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. He put, us, he put the whole show in a hole. All right. Well, spe- speaking of puke, yeah. uh, when getting a smooch from Moki, uh, t- uh, what, wait a minute, uh, tissues might be needed to sop up what could be an extra slobbery kiss. Uh, the fluffy St. Bernard was recently named the Guinness Book World, Guinness World Record holder for longest dog's tongue. Uh, her tongue measures an impressive 6.31 inches from snout to tip. Uh, an eight-year-old rescue, Moki lives with her adopted parents, Carla and Craig Rickert, uh, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, Carla said Moki had, quote, brought a lot of joy to our lives since they adopted her about six years ago. Uh, she's a comic relief to us, she said. She's very funny. In the video, in a video, uh, you can watch Moki slurp, slurp up her favorite food, peanut butter. So you know why a dog with... <laughs> See, Moki? Yeah, Moki. Moki's a yeah. freak. Moki is a, is a freak. freak. A seven, How big was seven, that tongue? Seven point three one inches. That's like the Gene Simmons of dogs. Right there. <laughs> I saw. I think I saw a picture of that. I just saw a picture of the tongue. That was that was impressive. It it was yeah. And add peanut butter to the mix. <laughs> add peanut butter to. There is a lot of things wrong about this news story. Yeah, but thing. at least Moki's brought a lot of joy to her life. <laughs> and is gonna die of canine cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to go there? <laughs> now I'm sad. Uh, and craving peanut butter. I, don't know. Uh, I just imagine the dog with the Gene Simmons makeup on. Like, <laughs> like yeah. Face paint. Yeah, and that's how the dog got cancer. <laughs> yeah, face paint. Yeah, kiss, yeah. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> don't paint your dog up like kids. Your dog has <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd say Gene Simmons' cancer is the least of his <laughs> <laughs> AIDS and yeah. his face. Yes, and his face. At least uh, that's the that's the, the How are you only ugly rock and roll singer. Face. How are you ugly in rock and roll? How's that happen? That was the oh, 70s. That, I that think, back yeah, then I it didn't have to be. They only had makeup. There on. aren't a lot of pretty rock and rolls. So, but I Tom mean, Petty was like a like a fly looking guy, right? He wasn't my type. No. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, mine either. But like he had it together, right? He had those teeth. But other than that, yeah, yeah, definitely pretty ugly. I've never really did. You know, like well, I guess it. Depends on how you classify Kiss. Uh, yeah, that's not heavy metal. That's rock and that's like bubble gum. But the, they, yeah, you couldn't see their faces. See, they, just, didn't wore, they wore face full face makeup for like the first ten years of right. the band. Yeah, and then it was a big deal when they took it off. And I wonder yeah. if people were like, Ugh! "That's how I know he was ugly." Like, oh, yeah. yeah, put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I totally didn't know. Like yeah. that always confused me. Yeah. And he's it's, he's a lot older now too, but his face is just like no. He was ugly young. He was ugly. Yeah, I mean they pretty much all were. Yeah. But I guess uh, that, yeah, there there are a lot of ugly men. I mean Neil Young, yeah, yeah he was always hideous big, yeah. teeth too. Well, he yeah. had Tom Petty teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, Petty. <laughs> Tom Petty teeth. Imagine that, that autopsy. Anything like Freddie, Freddie Mercury teeth. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that autopsy of like Tom Petty. Mike, uh, like I hope he didn't die with like his mouth open. I'm guessing they can open your mouth right when you're dead. Yeah. Oh, know. I I don't know. Yeah, they I, have I haven't to. died yet. I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This is definitely Tom Petty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jewelry should always reflect one's personal style. In the case of British mom Tracy Kiss, see, we went from a dog kiss to Tracy Kiss. (laughs) Now, see, that there is some sense to my news. Uh, uh, It's... (laughs) We'll start over. Uh, jewelry should always reflect one's personal style, but in the case of British mom Tracy Kiss, it also mem- memorializes her private parts. Uh, earlier this year, the model turned fashion blogger underwent a labiaplasty, in part to remove a cyst that doctors uh, said uh, caused was caused by friction in the area, which we know what that was caused by. <laughs> Uh, in the area. <laughs> the 28-year-old Kiss uh, then blogged about the experience in very, very elaborate details in her own personal blog. Uh, now uh, she's adding another wrinkle to the story. Turns out she saved right. some of the parts removed during the surgery and has turned them into a one-of-a-kind choker. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh. Hashtag uh, white people problems. <laughs> yes. uh, Kiss decided to make the uh, labia heirloom. Uh, as a trophy for uh, overcoming the pain experienced, the experience caused her. Uh, she said, uh, 
She says, I also have my old breast implants, too. Unfortunately, the surgical fluid they were stored in turned them gray, so I wanted a, a long-term option of preservation. Uh, the skin around uh, Kiss's sex organ also turned gray from the surgical fluid. However, she perked things up by covering the leftover labia in glitter. So- <laughs> stylish. Be yes, stylish. that is... Uh- I believe they call that the jazzling. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's yes. a real word. <laughs> that gets the applause break. That right is there. why you are the mayor <laughs> of the Oregon district. Right there. Uh, that is good stuff. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yes, glitter. That's glitter. glitter. I have a whole set about glitter and its Glitterous. evils. And oddly enough, this was not a part of it. But it may be now <laughs> because there are some things you don't want glitter on. No. There are also some things you don't want around your neck. No. <laughs> No, at all. Not yeah. none. Not uh, a good thing. Get that there's thing away such from a you. thing as over. It, it, I, there's yeah. such a thing as oversharing. You know. Yes. Like, yes. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a great little necklace. Where, did you get that? <laughs> where oh, who are you wearing? My God. Who are you wearing right now? Well, this oh, is me. me. This is yeah. me. Yeah, this is all me. Uh, <laughs> this is me. <laughs> That'd be yeah, a great clothing line, like too. Oh this God, is me. yeah. What if she made yeah. it? What if it, people started? It started a whole trend, and everybody started like demanded yeah. to bake it. It only takes like if Lady Gaga does it, everybody would do it. Yeah. Just one person. That's true. That's true. Yeah, one it, it only takes one. I one saw idiot. that necklace had to have it. <laughs> Can you make me one? Um, yes. I'm gonna, There's first, more. we're going to need to <laughs> remove your. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that. People are lining up for this hot new surgery. Yeah, like, oh. Lance Armstrong has a very big <laughs> pinky ring. <Yeah. laughs> Lance, that would look so. Uh, Rest in peace. Well, he's dead, right? Lance, Lance Armstrong is dead, right? Is he? I don't. I don't think so. I thought he died. No, okay, he had, never mind. He's just, he he's just nuts. He had, okay, ah. <laughs> he came close. Bubba. Okay. Bubba. Oh, Not dead. Man. I always thought it was kind of unfair. He, you know be in all those races with only one left because it's a lot more comfortable to ride that bike with a little thin seat when you only have one yeah yeah, yeah it gives them an unfair yeah. advantage probably. exactly well exactly. he was doping too yeah yeah true yeah but that's not important <laughs> at all see i actually think athletes should they're getting paid a lot of money to play a sport they should do whatever they can to be the best at it they can be <laughs> yeah you know, I didn't pay. I didn't pay for my tickets to watch somebody half ass it. Get out yeah. there and do some stuff for mediocre uh, entertainment. Shoot up, go you want to be out there like a throwing the bike and just screaming, Doctor Jekyll, <laughs> just knocking, knocking other bikers off. That's go how off. you win. <laughs> they just give him the title because they're like afraid of him. Like, oh yeah, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> you I, believe beat him. I believe this oh. is yours, Lance. <laughs> No, I'm not going to kiss your ring. <laughs> Lance Armstrong just won on a 10 speed. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. <laughs> With pegs. <laughs> We're going to give it to him. We, he deserves yeah, it. Yeah. He's just, <laughs> Lance. Yeah, don't kiss the ring. A uh, young boy, and uh, that's all. <laughs> a young boy in uh, tucuman Argen- argentina i believe that's how you pronounce tucuman. it i don't know tucuman that's like uh that, that's a game isn't it 2K. <laughs> that's <Pokemon. 2K. laughs> yeah. that's, uh, anyway the young boy suffered an unusual side effect after he swallowed a piece from a pet toy he couldn't stop squeaking uh, <laughs> there's a video uh, taken in the emergency room of a children's hospital by dr santiago gomez zuveria uh, but you can sh- pronounce that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it was the Tucumon screwed me up. I practiced the other one. <laughs> it's, but the video shows the unnamed eight-year-old boy opening mouth and squeaking up a storm. Uh, the whistle was stuck between his larynx and his pharynx. Uh, <laughs> using local anesthesia, the doctor was able to remove the squeaker from the boy's throat. I think they should have left it there. That's a valuable <laughs> lesson and a warning to others. <laughs> And besides, every time you walk down the street, dogs just come running. <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> that would be horrible. Uh, Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody took a photo of this. Instead there's of operating, video. they took a photo. A video. There's a video. actually a video online where you can see him sitting there squeaking. All his parents making yeah. fun of him and stuff. Oh, yeah. like, no one thought to go to the yeah. doctor. <laughs> we told you. We told you. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> They probably put it in there just to, <laughs> his parents were like, no, go ahead, eat it. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. You wanted to know, taste it. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, let's see. Uh, see another kiss story. See, usually I just, Ow! usually most of my news has to do with poop. <laughs> you got a <laughs> thing going on. Kissing. You got a thing. 
Uh, yeah, this is a theme show. This is a uh, three guys in a room, and we have a kissing theme on the news stories. There's something wrong. <laughs> and meat. Because we talk, yeah, and meat. Uh, this gives new meaning to the phrase air kiss. Uh, a skydiving couple in southern England recently locked, lip for an, <laughs> locked lips for an astonishing 32 minutes and 20 seconds while flying inside a wind tunnel. Oh, okay. Uh, Andy Godwin, 49 years old, smooched nonstop with girlfriend Katie Edie. Katie Edie? Katie Edie. That's a cute uh, name. She sounds cute. Yeah. Katie Edie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Katie Edie. Sounds like she's ticklish. How do you sound cute? <laughs> uh, anyway, they, they uh, smooched nonstop while suspended on a 70-mile-per-hour bed of air at the iFly Indoor Skydiving Center in Milton Keynes in June. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> done. That's yeah. That's that's done. Indoor that's, that's skydiving. A, indoor skydiving. Yeah, Why above would, a fan. What, yeah, basic. Yeah, that's basically you're there trying to be chopped to death. Yeah, that's how they. <laughs> I, Hashtag white people. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. More more white people problems. That's that's what we deal with here. We get we get these. How long the can we kiss? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Let's try it. Hmm. Hey, let's try it. Suspended over a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> they they have like a list and they've crossed off yeah. everywhere else. Yeah. China buffet. Yeah. <laughs> Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Yeah. Times Square. <laughs> Wiley's Comedy Club. Yeah, Wiley's Comedy Wiley's. Club. Wiley's Wiley's. Check us out. Yeah. Pay attention. Stop. Get away from her. Uh, where where should we go from here? Uh, we'll What's do... happening in Dayton? Is there anything in Dayton that's going I don't on? Have any I need new, new material. Yeah. Yeah. We all. What's do. going on in Dayton? Uh, if I don't, Cal's I don't listening to it, this. Yeah. He's yelling at the he's yelling at the radio like, "There's a car into a building! <laughs> There's a car into a building! <laughs> Grab, Grab my keys! <laughs> Grab my keys! There's probably a car into a building somewhere. If I had yeah, to guess, I'm Cal sure, yeah, tracks I'm sure there that. is. We should all, yeah check check Facebook. Uh, check out Cal Westry's page. He, he will always keep you up to date on where cars are driving into buildings. <laughs> That's. I feel like we should talk about Cal because the audience doesn't know who Cal is. That's totally an insane. Cal's, thing. Cal's been on the show. So okay. Some, yeah, so, okay, some, cool. some folks would know who Cal is. Some would not. Longtime friend yeah. of Wiley's comedy and just comedy in oh, general. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he's, 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 one of, he's one of our biggest supporters. Great guy. Great, Great guy. guy. I found my key, the first key he ever gave me. Did you? Yeah. In 2015, he gave me a key, and I found it like a couple weeks ago. He's giving me like three more, but I found the <laughs> really? first one. I like, I, oh, I, he wants it back now. He's yeah. like, yeah, 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 I'll take that. <laughs> yep. Keys play up? Keys play up? <laughs> That's why he has that whole stack when he was it. I'm just wondering, does he ever go up to somebody that had a really bad set and, and demand it back? <laughs> Wouldn't that hurt? Wouldn't that just make you feel so I'm bad? Gonna eat my like, key yes, back. he has, Aaron. Thank yeah, you for yeah. reminding <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that last three Listen minutes to, you did. Yeah, 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 right about his keys. Gonna... Some of us don't even get a key. <laughs> I got keys on top of keys, yeah. <laughs> son. Yeah, we're going to make a necklace. Of all these keys. Let's have them all hanging up. This on is me. Like that one night. Oh, that's coming. I can hear the keys. <laughs> keys, baby, keys. Yes, the key to comedy, we, given given by Cal Westray. Yeah. We need, yeah, Good we, thing. Yeah, I think a key necklace would be. A big giant one, like yeah. he's getting the key to the city. Yeah, yeah. yes. Would you, you that's how I would hand it out. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It would be chocolate. It'd be Get the key to the Oregon district. Look, when you leave the Oregon district, I need this back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, There's like a we border. And like, back my, my power only works. Like, oh, you're on the other side of the border now. Yeah. <laughs> my jurisdiction. I'm out of jurisdiction. My hands are tied. I can't do anything. You're not, you're not planning on building a wall. Right? No, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because that would keep people out of the Oregon district. Yeah. They wouldn't be able to get the wall. No, it wouldn't. No, no they'd, they'd climb it. No yeah, they'd climb they'd it. They'd start selling ladders. They'd They'd go over there The porn stores down there. And the paddle wagons. They got the paddle wagons. Yeah, the paddle wagons yeah. and the porn stores. That's why. Uh, yeah. That's paddles why. and porn. Because paddles that, and uh, porn. the paddle wagon cracks me up because that's really what I want when I'm trying to get drunk is exercise. Yeah, that's, that's t- absolutely, <laughs> so, absolutely. Like, yeah, it's packed. It's a. It's it a is. Huge, it's, it's they somebody, do five uh, runs of it a day, or they they book five. I don't want to say shows, but like. Uh, so yeah. you can't just you have to actually make plans ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. Book, they they rent it for like events. Just, it's like a rental. You. And that's why it's like big groups do it. Like okay, okay, yeah. But I'll be, that, it'll that, be quiet down there during the day sometimes, and then you'll just hear woo, <laughs> and they'll roll by <laughs> screaming, and then you're like, oh, it was the wagon. Doppler first, effect. First couple times, I had no idea what the hell was going on. Yeah. I mean, I'm used to people screaming down there <laughs> for fun. This is a fun scream. It wasn't like ah help. I mean, you know, I would have come out <laughs> yeah, for that too. I'm not used yeah. to that. That would be unusual. Don't think like people are just screaming for help all the time down there. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, but it's, that's uh, the other side of Dayton. 
Hey, hey, hey. I frequent that side of the day. No, I, I meant the north side. No, I, I actually was reading in the newspaper earlier today I about don't. the north, north main and I don't. all the you don't read the newspaper? No, I don't stay on the I don't hang out on that side oh, of the day. Yeah, I don't blame you. No. <laughs> See now I now I went and brought the show down because we went back to heroin again. We did. That's, we did. <laughs> Uh, well, that is it. I don't think we have any more time. We got like a minute left uh, to wrap up, and we'll probably we should probably plug uh, what's that? Uh, Wiley's. Wiley's. Yeah. Wiley's. One hundred one Pine Street. Yeah. yeah, get out to Wiley's uh, Thursday night. The, the crooner and the clown with uh, with Austin Lucas and Ryan Singer. Well, That's going to be at eight o'clock Thursday best. night at Wiley's Comedy Club, one hundred one Pine Street in downtown Dayton's historic Wiley's. Drive District. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a breath. And uh, this weekend, uh, Greg Hahn is going to be at Wiley's, nice. along with Richard Gaines featuring, and uh, our very own Karen Jaffe is going to be emceeing this weekend. Sunday so Comics on and Sunday. Sunday Comics on Sunday. Always a great show with the locals. Five dollars. Uh, Five dollars. And and you never know what you're going to see on Wiley Sunday Comics. That's why it's always puke. my favorite. You can, you can see, see yeah. Puke. You can see Action Jackson, yes, maybe. Action you can see. <laughs> you never know. Who's going to show up, and you never know who's going who's going to blow up. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes there. You can say you saw him win. Yeah, we 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 saw him melt down on stage long, <laughs> before, <laughs> long before he went to prison. Yeah, <laughs> we saw it coming. Uh, spe- speaking of which, our, our thoughts are uh, often with Andy Bowman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> our, oh, hope you're listening to this. Hope you got privilege, oh. radio privileges, Andy. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, we and, say uh, hi, hi. How's it going? And I, I take actually, care, buddy. I actually miss Andy. <laughs> Andy's nuts, but he, he he's was he's guy. always been a good dude he's to me. Uh, there are some people that would argue. <laughs> Andy's a good guy. But he's going to come always... back out ripped, and we're all going to be afraid of him. And yeah, you're hedging you your bets. That's you what go. you're doing. That's, that's what I'm doing. He's going to no, have a Mike I... Tyson face tattoo and like, he can like giant and Andy, Andy's forearms. Been the, Andy's been on the show with me about two or three times. He's always <laughs> cool, always respectful, always a good guest on the show. I really, I really wish him well, and I hope he gets yeah. whatever help he needs exactly. wherever he is and comes back out. Yeah, uh, into the comedy. Maybe world. he'll get some material and, from in there. Uh, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> but on that note, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, any anything else to plug? I know Saturday, uh, Saturday, uh, feathers, feathers vintage, vintage clothing. clothing for what? What's the full title of it? Feathers comedy spooky spooktacular <laughs> yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah, we're calling it that because so, <laughs> it's close enough to Halloween. Costume, yeah. come in a costume. Yeah, yeah come in a costume and just and, uh, and laugh. You won't be the only one. There'll be other people in costumes. Don't worry. Uh, That's good. As long as there are other people, we don't. And it'll be drink. People will be. Uh, people will be drunk, and it'll be a good audience. And just come check it out. Nine o'clock, yeah. nine thirty. 440 East 5th Street, right down the street from Wiley's. You yes. can go to the early show and still come to ours, too. There you go. Yeah, go, go to Wiley's early show to see Greg Hahn and then go go see the the, the rest of us hanging out at the... Uh, yelling at people on yeah, the street. Yelling at people on the street, making them all wish they had gone to yeah. Wiley's for the late show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we'll make it... The grass is always greener. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this has been the Life Radio Show with your host, Don Smith. We will see you guys next week. This has been the Life Radio Show on WWSU 106.9 with your host, Don Smith. The Life is also available in podcast form on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, Spreaker, Blueberry, and YouTube, as well as on Eventide Entertainment's podcast network. Be sure to like the Life Radio Show on Facebook, and if you have any comments or suggestions, email thelife1069 at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Now get out there and enjoy some live comedy this week. You can check out Wiley'sComedy.com for all your upcoming shows. The brutal presence overwhelms me. The brutal presence overwhelms me!